What's up guys? Welcome back to DCS World and of course my A10C Warthog tutorial series. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to learn how to use the GAO-8 Avenger 30mm cannon. That is the gun for this aircraft and it is a massive piece of machinery. Uh, for those who don't know, the A10C was essentially built around the gun. The gun is the basically the original weapon of this airplane. It is a 30 millimeter hydraulically driven seven barrel Gatling style autocannon. It is used primarily in the A10, but it is also used on um, Sea Whiz type uh, ship defense systems. It has a ridiculously high rate of fire of around 3,900 rounds per minute. And in our case, it's going to carry up to 1,150 rounds uh, on a full ammunition load. Now, we can have a couple of different kinds of ammunition in this. So if we go to our armament screen, the default is called combat mix. We also have high explosive incendiary and target practice rounds. The combat mix is essentially a mix of armor piercing rounds and high explosive rounds. So what they do is for every four, I believe it's every four armor piercing round on the ammunition belt, they load one high explosive incendiary. So there is a four to one mix of armor piercing and high explosive rounds. A little bit more on the gun itself though, it's designed primarily for the anti-tank and anti-light vehicle role. Uh, and it is the basically the primary weapon for close air support and strafing runs for the A-10. So, um, I've babbled long enough. Without further ado, let's take off, get airborne, and go to our target range and put some 30 mic mic into some bad guys. All right, so we're in the air now. We got to do a little bit of setup to get these weapons going. Uh, as with every weapon, we need to go first, flip our master arm to on, and then we need to arm our gun. So there's a switch here called gun arm and then gun pack. We want to toggle it up into the gun pack position. And I'll explain what that we, uh, means in a minute. What we also want to do is get our HUD master mode into guns mode. So by default, you're in nav mode. So let's go, eh, there it is. You know, you can cycle through your CCIP, CCRP. We want guns. And let's just quick pause and look here. We've got our gun reticle a little bit off to the side here. We've got some information about our, pause the camera. There we go. We've got some information about our weapon. We see combat mix. We see the number of rounds remaining, which is 1,150 rounds. Uh, I've currently got an altitude hold, so don't worry about that. And the gun cross. Now, a couple of things about the gun cross. Uh, let me actually... I'm actually going to straighten my airplane out here. But we can look at this. All right. So let's zoom in real close because I, I want you to see something here. You see these two dots in the middle of the gun cross? You see how they are spread apart by just a little bit? Those two dots actually represent the different ammo types. So what happens is because we have a combat mix and it's a mix of armor piercing and high explosive incendiary, the rounds are actually a different weight and a different density and thus fly different trajectories when you fire them, even though we're firing them all kind of at the same time. So the upper dot that's closer to the middle here represents the armor piercing rounds. The lower dot here represents the high explosive incendiary rounds. So if I were to fire the gun right now, the armor piercing rounds would hit right about there on the ground, and the high explosive incendiary rounds would hit right about there on the ground, okay? Something to bear in mind, it usually isn't gonna come into play because as you get close to a target, these dots tend to converge and you'll generally be walking the pipper across the target as you're firing, but I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate that in a bit. Um, 
The attack is basically a CCIP attack, very similar to how we did rockets in the last video, uh, which is why I did these in succession, because our dive angle on the target is going to be relatively shallow, maybe around 15 to 20 degrees, no more than 25 or 30. And uh, we're going to put some lead into them. So let's back out a little bit here, unpause my camera and unpause the game. And then I want to talk about a couple of things. So the gun is so powerful in this airplane. Whoops. Jiggling around a little bit back into an orbit. The gun in this airplane is so powerful and has so much recoil that it can actually slow the plane down when you're firing it. If you're firing this thing and you're not going fast enough, you actually run the risk of stalling the airplane because it's going to lower your airspeed. The recoil is just so much. It also forces a natural pitch up angle. So when you fire the gun, your nose is actually going to rise up. However, the A-10C and uh, also the A-10A, but in a lesser uh, capacity, have what's called a PAC or precision attitude control. So that when you're firing the gun, the airplane automatically puts in nose down attitude control. So nose down stick deflection essentially automatically that keeps your nose from rising when you're firing the gun. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. That's why we flipped our gun switch to gun pack, gun PAC arm. And also quickly verify that we have gun ready. Let's uh, turn around here and go find us a target. I've got a target set up on waypoint number one here. That's about, uh, it's about seven miles that away. So let's go get them. So I just want to pause again real quick and talk about something. Uh, similarly to how we did rockets, we're going to roll in on the target and no more than you know, 20 degrees of dive angle, cut the throttles and possibly open the air brakes if we're getting too fast. One other thing to mention is the fact that the similarly to rockets as well, the gun's effectiveness drops off tremendously beyond two miles. So we're generally only going to use the gun within two miles. With that said, let's unpause here again and roll in on these targets that are off to my right. So just flying straight ahead now. We're going to press and squeeze trigger when we're over the target. And you'll want to squeeze the trigger for about two seconds and then release. So let's roll in. Cut throttles. Air brakes open. Gun target inside of two miles and guns, guns, guns. Air brakes close, throttles to full, and pull up out of the dive. Turn away. And we did some good damage there. Pull up, pull up. Now I want to mention something regarding the gun. We're going to do another run here where I'll demonstrate. The precision attitude control actually has two modes. And we activate that mode using the first stage of the trigger in our A10C. Now, if you don't have a two-stage trigger HOTAS, you can bind the first stage to a different button, which I do. And when you do, in fact, let me hit it and then pause, boom. Let's look in on the HUD real quick. You see PAC1 right there? That tells you that precision attitude control stage one is engaged. And you'll usually want to do that when you're doing a gun run. You don't necessarily have to, but trust me, you'll notice the difference when you go do it. So let's turn around here. Altitude of about two to 3,000 AGL. You don't want to be too high. Correct this way a little bit. There they are. Let's roll in, cut the throttle. Open the 
air brakes a little bit. Holding PAC, first trigger. Guns, guns, guns. Walking it over the target, fire. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Air brakes closed, throttles in. Pulling up. And uh, we pull up, basically pull massacred up. that group of vehicles and soldiers. So that's the basics of using the gun, guys. It's actually really easy. Um, and it's a lot of fun because you can shred things on the ground pretty well. Um, you're going to have a bit of a hard time killing heavily armored tanks with this thing. Um, unless you can get like a top kill with a steep dive angle. But generally don't worry about that. The gun is still pretty effective even against those targets. And um, yeah, just a lot of fun to use and... It's what the A-10 is known for. It's the BERT machine. So, yeah. Get out there, practice with the gun, guys. Have some fun, and I will see you for the next video.